Okay, we're ready to rumble. One hundred and sixteen decks, that would be pretty amazing. Okay, so you got a seventeen strength, sixteen decks, fifteen con, fifteen intelligence, fifteen wisdom. 14 charisma and a 13 luck that is pretty unbelievable nice. um do you want to put your plus two bonus into strength or con or did you have another idea for it I put it in con i could be more beefy right my health could be better yeah it would increase your hit points although you're a fighter so you get a d12 plus two so at first level you're gonna have 14 hit points but the big downside of wielding a two-handed weapon is that you have a uh, pretty crappy defense although you have a decent dexterity so you just aren't gonna have the super high ac of someone with a shield if i put it in dex that would help my defense dex would help your armor class um as a big tanky fighter having a really high dex ends up being technically a penalty in the long run because when you start wearing heavier armors it's harder to get armor that'll allow you to be that dexterous i see I would probably go con or strength, but it's obviously up to you. I think I'll put it in my strength. Okay, that's pretty nasty. Okay, then. Um, so your hit points aren't going to change. They'll stay at 14. Your armor class will go... Uh, depending upon what you buy for armor. Um, scale mail is the default armor for fighters at first level, but it has a minus four armor check penalty. And if you're wielding a two-handed weapon, that means your initiative penalty is going to be double digits. Jesus. Yeah, well, you can drop down to, like, studded leather. It's less armor, but it's uh, three faster. Um, depending upon what you roll for your gold, you might be, able to, might be able to afford a chain shirt, which is the same as scale mail, except that it doesn't have the horrendous penalty. I think it's minus two instead of minus four. Why don't you do that? Roll your, uh, your money so you know what you're looking at. Or you can take the average. How do I? I'm just looking it up. Uh, you'd think after 20 years I'd have all of the uh, tables memorized by now. Fighter is 46 times 10. Or 150 gold pieces. Depending upon what you want to use as your weapon, 150 gold pieces doesn't leave you with a whole lot. I think if you fight with a uh, great axe, it's only 25 gold pieces. So that would still leave you with 100 to buy a chain shirt and 25 in miscellaneous coin. Or you can roll and gamble to get higher.
What do you want to do? I'm sorry, what? You want to take the 150 as an average? You want to roll to go higher? You might have a chance of going higher. You also have a chance of getting less. So that's the gambling aspect of it. Um, with your current uh, gold piece total, you could take uh, less uh, exceptional equipment. Like I said, you can go with scale mail and a great axe and save a ton of money. But ideally, you probably want uh, a chain shirt and a great sword, and those two things will cost you 150, so you'll have nothing left after that. I think I'll, I think I'll roll. I want to see what I'll, what I'll get. Okay, so roll 46 in the noob chat. Well, that's 160. I sent it backwards. It's supposed to be 64s. Roll 64. See if you do better. Exactly the same. Amazing. Yeah, it's highly improbable that you'd roll the average both times. Okay, uh, with 160 gold pieces, you could probably get away with uh, going greatsword and chain shirt. 10 gold pieces means you're going to have to be really frugal in uh, buying your adventuring equipment, but it's manageable if you want to do that. I think it, it'll be worth it. Okay, so I fixed your armor. Um, everything else on the top is fine. Um, hadn't really decided what we were going to do with regards to uh, your character. Um, if you want to just be part of the group and play along as a chaotic good follower of Tamora, that's fine. Um, you can pick a different god if you're so inclined. Or you can basically be... Um, Agnostic to start out with and see what you want to do. I think I'll be. I'll do that. That sounds good. Just go agnostic? Yeah. What alignment do you want to be? Can I do chaotic good? Yep. Okay, so then we just do some math here. Oh, I'll leave that to the end. Um, your dex goes up. And your wisdom goes up too. Okay. Um, quickly look over your skills. I think you get one extra because you're higher intelligence. So that'll bring you up to 28 skills. So you get to pick four new ones. Check out the ones that are there and decide what you want to do.
You good with the skills you got? What's insight? Insight is like an intelligence check. It allows you a reroll, I believe, on knowledge checks. Let me look it up. Uh, you can roll an insight check um, if you fail the knowledge or crafting check uh, that you have at least one rank into um, in and try to make some connection from the information some connection to the information you're seeking uh, this is usually vague understanding the situation blah 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 skill has no effect on your ability to craft an item uh, it only helps with information about items if an intelligence check is called for, you can roll an, uh, an insight uh, check instead, which means you can have ranks in it, and can also be used uh, to remember details that you've forgotten. So it's kind of just like a backup skill. That sounds pretty cool, though. Who is insight class for? No one. It's cross-class for everyone. And intuition's basically the same. It is uh, perception, sense motive, and wisdom checks. Oh, it's just the wisdom version of it. I think those are pretty cool to have. Okay. Well, like I said, you get four more skill points. Um, I'd probably stick two in acrobatics because you'll be reasonably acrobatic with your high decks. Um, and if you're going to hang on to insight, you probably want to pick a couple of knowledge skills that you can use as uh, backup information. Are you saying I have skill points to spend? Yep, because your intelligence is higher, you get uh, four extra skill points at first level. Okay, and I can choose to put ranks into any skill, not just skills that i already have yep you can pick any skill um from the skill document and add to it um in this case uh heal insight intuition and perception are all cross class so they're uh limited to two I'm adding knowledge dungeoneering and knowledge engineering to the fighter list. Just stealing that from Pathfinder. You don't have to pick those. It's just those two you could have more ranks in. What would engineering apply to? Um, anything scientific, mathematical, construction. Um, it's usually handy for um, looking for secret entrances, uh, decide, determining whether something is stable in uh, risky situations. Like if you wanted to break through a wall or uh, dig a tunnel or something, you could make a check to determine how uh, safe it is to do that. Would dungeoneering be like basic dungeon stuff? Yeah, dungeoneering applies to um, monsters of the Underdark like oozes and aberrations and whatnot. And hang on, I'll go look it up. Knowledge dungeoneering. Underground places in general, aberrations, caverns, 
oozes and spelunking. Generally, all of the uh, knowledge uh, abilities are a perk, depending upon what you're doing. Um, at low levels, the planes aren't particularly useful because you don't generally run into things from other planes, but it does happen. Um, the ones that tend to be super useful are arcana, which is magic in general, arcane symbols, constructs, dragons, and magical beasts. Uh, nature, just because it has the most number of things in it. Animals, fey, giants, monstrous humanoids, um, plants, seasons, cycles, weather, and vermin. Well, I thought it had uh, humanoids in it. Yeah, humanoids is actually local. I've been screwing that up for quite some time. Does anyone else... Uh, does any of your characters have knowledge nature as of right now? Um, that's a good question. I would have to look. Because I know Miriam will probably have Arcana because she said she was a sorcerer. I have Arcana, but only um, plus five in it. Um, I don't have anything with nature, though. Right. Yeah, um... Yeah, he's got history, Ar arcana, and religion, but on no ranks in history. I assume those are just your class skills. They are. I think I'll take nature. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, the only one uh, Miriam has is arcana. So we definitely have Arcana covered with two players already having it. Oh, yeah. And whenever I level up and I get more uh, skill points, I can put some rank into like new abilities or skills, right? Yep, you can pick something new every level if you want. Awesome. You want to put two ranks in nature? That sounds good. You want to put the other two in acrobatics? Yeah. Okay, so that'll be all your skill points. You're only plus three for acrobatics because you're minus two for your armor. Did I do the... Um... The bonus I get for the background. Uh, what is your bonus for your background? Um, let me see. You're taking Gladiator? Yeah, and it has acrobatics, and I feel like that was the only one that was really useful. I might look again real quick, though. One second. Uh, yeah, you could take acrobatics as a class skill. That would be good, and then you could put four ranks in it. That would be good, actually. That'd be perfect. You just have to decide what you want to take those ranks from. Um, you can take ranks out of craft armor. You don't specifically need that. I think I'll do that. What exactly is craft armor for? Um, for making and maintaining your armor. Um, really just comes down to how much you care about it. Some players like to make their own armor. It saves you some money, but realistically you can only do it during downtime because you don't want to not go with your party when you're adventuring yeah and i could use that as could i use that as a way to like make money on the side if yeah if downtime. everyone else is hanging out in town like the mage wants to learn new spells or the cleric is spending time in town you could just go and uh do some armor smithing um work on a project on your own that's cool.
I just stuck stealth in there because it's one of those things that tends to come up. All right. Then when everyone says, how stealthy are you? You can say, eh, I'm plus one. That's pretty good for a fighter. And it'll probably only go up for the first few levels until you get some really obnoxious armor. Okay, so then we're under your feats. Um, feats listed are power attack, which allows you to take a penalty to hit to gain a bonus to damage. It's not a particularly good spell or feat at low levels because you normally don't want to take a penalty at low levels, but at higher levels it's uh, quite valuable. Um, improved initiative gives you plus four to... Uh, your initiative checks and it applies to everything which is kind of handy and then cleave is the reason you would take power attack if you fell something um, in combat you get to make an extra attack so you kill one goblin and then cleave to the next one that's pretty cool yeah those would be the three feats i would pick 100 percent of the time on any character i play that wields a two-handed weapon Power attack, cleave, improved initiative. Yep. And then I at third level, I would take... Oh, at second level, you get a feat too. But at second level, you could take two-hander style. At third level, your character feats, you can pick anything, but your fighter feats have to be combat. So I usually pick um, a... Uh, whatchamacallit? A saving throw boost at third level. And then uh, at fourth level, um, you can take... Iron roll. Yeah, I would take Iron Will because being a, f a fighter, you have a shit will save. Um, but then you pick up uh, Focus and uh, Specialization. Great Cleave. Yeah, you're just insanely devastating. I think we all are going to need to spend some time and train out uh, something. So Iron Will could be one of those we all train. It's one of the requirements to be in the Silver Swords. This is how Kenny very subtly get you to do what he wants to do <laughs> you know it would be really subtle. good this would be really good for you Anna. this is like the mansplaining by rack you know it'd be really good you should take some time off and train to get iron will because i need iron will and we should and all we do should it, all train it. <laughs> yeah and we all take the month off it'll be fine then yeah. you'll have an extra feed at third level sounds good he's slimy but he's right Did you uh, add up the initiatives again? Uh, not as of yet. I was just uh, trying to find my other document to uh, look up the languages. I'll actually be right back. 30 seconds. Sorry I took so long, Kenny. It ended up basically being up there until dinner was ready and then eating my dinner. What an asshole spending time with your family. Yeah, that's... Somebody was asking me when we were going to play this game and I was like, uh, on the weekends that we don't play the Sunday game because my wife is a teacher and uh, she's off on Saturday and Sunday and if I play D&D &D on Saturday and Sunday... I won't be married for very long. Back when we started playing the uh, Chaos game, I was running a commission game at the same time, and they wanted to play on Saturdays, and they wanted to play every Saturday. And obviously, Kenny and Paul always want to play. So, uh, I think for like six weeks straight, I played every weekend, all weekend. And, uh, my wife was like, yeah, I get that you're getting paid, but at the same time, uh, this is the only time I'm off and, uh, it's not reasonable.
I'm still looking stuff up, so no worries. Just swapping out the languages because we're playing in a different area. So Himkaldaris is your native tongue, or would be in this situation. We haven't really done backstory. Um, Archipelian, Archipelagan, uh, I can't even say a stupid thing, uh, is the trade language. So be like speaking Old English as your known language and then latin as your world language and you do not have any ranks in linguistics so that might be something down the road you want to take but your high intelligence gives you one more free language so if you want to pick a third language you can do that There's, there's a list of languages in the skill docs in the document channel under uh, linguistics. There's like 30 or so languages you can pick from. What are some common languages in the region that we're in? Um, the area you're currently in is adjacent to the elves. And there is a small orc faction to the north. And obviously you're in a human uh, country. Um, I don't know if I discussed uh, my uh, story idea for your background. But uh, Miriam is going to be um, a girl who was kidnapped by goblins at a young age. And she has her special sorcerer abilities. But... Uh, in lieu of that, the goblins decided they'd make her a pit fighter because she was so strong. So she's like this sorcerer, pit fighter, gladiator uh, chick. She eventually es escapes from that and uh, returns to uh, the Empire, which is just to the west or just to the east of where the goblins are. And I didn't know if you wanted a similar story or if you guys wanted to be like uh, dual uh chick gladiators or if you had a different idea for your gladiator background i haven't had any ideas yet but i don't have any problem with that okay so we'll just say that you two um basically leaned on each other in the goblin camp and uh ended up just depending upon each other so you ended up being a fighting team and then when you guys broke free and uh, fled the goblins, you uh, came to um, Himkeldur and uh, went looking for work. You guys wandered around the countryside um, working as like uh, mercenaries and caravan guards and that kind of stuff until you found yourself in this little uh, hamlet and... Uh, the local wizard was looking for uh, guards and uh, with uh, her magical background she was able to uh, get in and got you a job so the two of you are the groundskeepers for uh, the wizard uh, the other thing I um, suggested to uh, Miriam is that uh, she be the one who uh, caught uh, Kenny's character breaking in and he's currently doing time as a uh, wizard lackey rather than go to jail. Two big gladiator chicks that have no trouble taking down one little rogue. Sounds about right. And that'll allow Kenny to be super bitter at the beginning because he's still pissed off that you caught him.
then we can pretend that Kenny's just playing his character and not just a jerk. It all works out. That's a bold assumption. Oh, we gotta go with something. Um, Fox, since you're here, my idea for you, um, because this is a mageocracy, uh, it is very lawful neutral at a high end, like all the nobles and um, all of the cities and whatnot. So uh, Tamora is chaotic good, and she is uh, uber chaotic, which doesn't rub well with the lawful neutral establishment. So uh, basically you found yourself in this northern area, kind of uh, preaching on the road, and you've come to this small community, and they're not as uh, stern and uh, strict about things, and it's just more comfortable for you. So you've come up here and just have been uh, preaching and uh, serving the community for the last little while, and that's where you met the party, three of which are going to start out at the Wizard's Tower. Sweet. Uh, Mark said that he... Uh, might be a paladin so maybe the two of you could be like renegade uh, followers of Tamora traveling the countryside and same deal you end up in this little hamlet together that just sounds pretty awesome and then you can convert all these heathens and get the uh, affiliation bonuses for everybody Sorry to Fuck disappoint yeah. you, but I am not a heathen. You're starting out as a follower of Tamara? Absolutely. Oh, uh, you're a rogue. That makes sense. Fucking rogues. The, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the sorcerer and the fighter really don't have any reason to follow Tamora other than um, faith healing and coercion by the cleric. Okay, so, um, Emily, you'll probably have to pick a cheaper weapon than a short bow. Um, I would go with a sling or a javelin. Um, sling is the cheapest thing to go with, and it's generally one of the better weapons uh, for uh, ranged fighting at low levels anyway. That sounds good. You could even go with a, oh, you can go with a war sling, which is a slightly superior sling. I was looking at the price, but it's 45 gold pieces if you go uh, up there. Kenny, do you know off the top of your head what a war sling's worth uh, by the book? No. Never used one. Can you look it up? I could just get the basic one and then like at attach some like scrap metal to it and call it a war sling but it's just the fucking same maybe worse because i fucked up it that that's one option um you are going to be quite brutal with the sling because you get your strength bonus and your dex bonus so Ooh. that's the nice thing about a sling is you don't need a special sling to huck stones really hard like if you're using a bow, you need to buy a special bow built for your strength, but just pick up any old sling and huck stones with it. Yes. Do you remember what book War Sling's in? It's in the Elf book. Um, I just figured you'd Google it. I did, and I got a bunch of those not D20. Put D&D &D War Sling. 3.5. Yeah, even versus a short bow. Short bow is slightly better range. I think it's 50 for the sling and 60 for the short bow. But you do D4 plus 4 instead of D6. So that's 
even uh, more significant. Way better to hit, way better to damage. Nice. It's only times two for the critical, but that only comes up 5% of the time. So uh, I think that's everything. Redo your initiative. Only minus five for your initiative. That's not too bad. And what does the fee do again? Uh, improved initiative gives you plus four. So that's the F4 at the end. Five gold pieces, worse Yeah, and a normal sling's like one gold piece. Yep. Yeah, for five gold pieces, I'd get the worse sling because it does D6, doesn't it? I think it's D8. I think it's only D8 if you're using like special stones. D6 small, D8 large, or medium. Critical times four. Oh, 50, wow. 50 foot range increment. Yeah, apparently I decided that was uh, out of control because my masterwork one's only D8. It's because it is totally out of control. A times four. Here, here times you go. Four times for four, a four weapon. Five gold piece sling. Yeah, here's a weapon that's as good as a longbow and better on a critical. That makes sense. And it's an elven weapon. Because the elves, they're so fond of not using bows. Although, since you only have 10 gold pieces, spending half of it on a sling might not be your best choice. But we put the normal sling in there. You can go through and pick your um, items and detail it as you uh, wish. Sling speed factor is six, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, I knew that one. So you're only minus one with your sling. So if you're taking gladiator and the acrobatics bonus, we can stick that in. Did you want to change out your armor, craft armor, for more uh, acrobatics? What would be the downside of that? Would it affect my armor class? No, no, no. Your craft armor is just when you roll your check, it affects how oh, much uh, your check is. Yeah, I'll do that. And then you, oh no, that becomes class for you. You don't get a bonus to it. So acrobatics of plus five as a first level fighter is pretty awesome. Then if you need to get into a flank, you can attempt to tumble there. And as you go up, you'll get better at it. Nice. Okay, so it looks like your skills are all up to date.
I just stuck linguistics in there in case you want to take it down the road. Um, did you pick a language? Um, I feel like it would make the most sense to have goblin because of the background. Yep, goblin's a good language to have too. It may not be particularly pertinent early on just because you're in an orc area, but um, of all of the monster languages, it's the most common. Okay, so other than your equipment, which I'll let you pick through, um, looks like you're done. Any questions? Um, so for the initiative, the feat is already calculated in, right? Yep, that's the F4 at the end. All right, just making sure I didn't want to like accidentally add it in when I don't need to. And then athletic says plus six. Is that right? Yep. Four for your strength, four for your ranks, uh, minus two for your armor. All right. Once you get some coin, you can get yourself masterwork chain, and that'll uh, decrease the armor check penalty by one. And down the road a little further, you can get it enchanted, and then won't have a penalty at all. Eight. And then you said pick through my uh, gear. Yeah, decide what you want. Um, it's got a great bow and a short sword, or short bow listed there. Just get rid of the short bow. Um, so your great sword is, I think, 50 gold pieces, and chain shirts uh, 100, so that's 150 of your coins, and then spend your last 10 gold pieces and be ready to rumble. There's some basic gear at the bottom there. You can find it on the uh, SRD20 uh, site. Are you familiar with it? No, but I will familiarize myself. There's a link to it in the documents channel if you can't find it. And there's a list of equipment there. All the weapons, armor, adventuring gear, miscellaneous crap, clothing, the whole nine yards. It's actually quite uh, elaborate. Alright, so I have ten gold pieces left. Right. Yep, out of your 160, your sword and your armor um, takes up 150 of it. Alright, so I just get 10 gold pieces worth of gear, right? Yep, I'm going to stick that at the bottom. There you go. So all this gear here already, is that gone now? Uh, you can pick through that. Obviously, you don't need the quiver and the arrows. You probably want flint and steel. You probably want a sack, bedroll, some rations, um, backpack, and a water skin. So you can just price those out and see if you have enough money to buy them all. Uh, get what you want. And all right. When you run out of money, you can't buy anything more. Okay. Thank you. I get it. We'll be starting straight out with the adventure. So other than having a day's worth of food, you shouldn't be at any significant disadvantage you can be that that person who lives check to check is like can i borrow five bucks until uh we get paid tomorrow you can be kenny there you go you've got it all on one page okay so uh you can just download your character and uh Finish it off, and when you're done, just e email, uh, email it to me. All right, sounds good. Okay, anyone else got any questions? Uh, I did send a re-updated sheet, a change of languages a bit, to better match uh, the area. Okay, what did you take? Otherwise, no question. Uh, you got Island Common, Celestial, since that was a given, and Goblin and Sylvan.
if those are shitty choices, I'll go ahead and change them. No, it looks like everyone's got Goblin, which would be kind of funny. Orcs uh, are not particularly good linguists, but Goblin would probably be a language that they would pick. Why the hell will Google not open up a document? It's doing that stupid little colorful ball thing again. I'll just look on it on the preview. Short sword, it, short sword is a minus three weapon, not minus four. You're thinking uh, rapier. And crossbow, I think, is minus six or seven. Okay, I couldn't find the crossbow speed. Uh, if you look at the masterwork um, weapons table, the speed factors are there. It's the same. Speed factor doesn't change. And you took uh, scale mail for your armor? Yep. Keep in mind that has a minus four armor check penalty. So under your A in your initiative, that's minus four. And then acrobatics, athletics, and uh, that's all you have on your list are minus four. Okay. So really terrible armor, but like for dexterous stuff. Uh, but it does give you really good defense at first level and hopefully you make some good money and can buy something better afterwards. That was my thinking. I just want to stay alive with my low constitution. Yeah, nobody rolled particularly well for constitution this time. What's the one beside uh, linguistics and perception for? Um, effective ranks because they're uh, cross class. Oh, um, I don't use the cross class uh, double point thing. We just go straight points and the limit is still half. So you don't have to do that kind of stupid bookkeeping. That is so obnoxious to have to trace. So you have uh, two extra points you can spend. Uh, let's keep them there and take the increase in the skill. Well, yeah, I guess you've already paid two points for each of them. Oh, yeah, and you've only put one in. I see what you're saying. Yeah, you don't have very many skills. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's kind of crappy. Um, You might want to nerf your diplomacy a little and uh, shop around. I don't know what else you'd want to take. I guess there's not much point in bumping up acrobatics when you got minus four armor on. You can come back and touch on it later. Okay. And shield also is uh, has ACP, right? So it should be a negative six. Uh, yeah, because you got another two there. Wow, that's going to be super slow. Yeah, so you're going to have to make sure you're not in combat when you're casting spells because uh, you're going to be super slow. For a guy with a 16 dex and improved initiative, you're still going to have a negative number. But overall, it looks good. Oh, the other thing I was going to mention to you was uh, spontaneous zero-level spells. 
if you want to instead of uh, tracking your what do you get eight um, zero level spells you can pick you can uh, trade that for seven spells that you pick as a list and then you can cast in any order you want like a sorcerer So instead of deciding that you're going to take four Cure Minor Wounds, a Light, a Guidance, and whatever else you pick, you can just say, I'm going to take Cure Light Wounds, Light, Dash, Guidance, Read Magic, Detect Magic, whatever, and pick the seven spells that you want to have on your list, and then you cast them in any order you want until you've used up all your spell slots. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. You also get to pick one uh, at will spell from the cleric at will list, and you get one divine strike from the divine strike list. Probably not uh, super significant to you because you're not going to be much of a ranged combatant. You say one divine strike, and what was the first one? one at will spell i don't know if the at will thingy's in the discord yeah it's not in the discord i'll drop it in there now it's a uh, terribly incomplete document that i keep forgetting to update so I'm just embarrassed to post it. There you go. Um, and the divine strikes are in there somewhere. Yeah, arcane and divine strikes are uh, up near healing words and cantrips. Since you don't have any experience as a spellcaster, it's kind of challenging to pick one that would fit well for you. But uh, read through the list, see what you think uh, seems usable. And uh, you get one every other level up until ninth level. So if, if you pick one that's not that great, you can uh, pick a different one at third level and use it. But it's kind of hard to make a judgment when I don't know how you're going to play your character and you don't know how you're going to play your character. Yeah, I pretty much no idea what I'm doing with get all set up. No worries, we'll muddle through it. Um, other than Kenny, everybody in this group is uh, learning as they go. Uh, Miriam is a 5e player, so she knows the basic mechanics of the game, but she's learning the specific 3.5 rules and our house rules simultaneously. I think uh, Emily's probably the most experienced. She does have a very solid grasp on magic. Yeah, we have to be careful not to mansplain magic to her. Should be easy this time with her being a warrior. Actually, it'll work out better because now it'll make sense to explain it to her because she doesn't actually know magic. Perfect. Now you get to hang out with a bunch of sleazy guys talking down to you, and it's in character. No more of this metagame stuff. I have a feeling if I do that, I'm just gonna my character is going to wake up with a knife in the back. Now nah, she uh, wields a great sword. She'll just cut you in half. Well, that's something I didn't do is uh, check her damage. 
Um, Emily, on your character sheet, your damage should be, with your greatsword, 2d6 plus 8. It's probably only plus 6 on there. So, for context, um, Fox has 9 hit points, so your minimum damage of 10 will render him unconscious. Excellent. And I think Kenny's in the same boat. I think he might have 9 or 10 hit points. So if you get any lip from either of them, just uh, show them how sharp your greatsword is. <laughs> Kenny's used to taking abuse from women. He uh, played in a game with my wife and my daughter, and they just kicked the shit out of him from the beginning. They got theirs. Yeah, it it ended up working out. I just thought it was hilarious how long the two of them just kept shitting on you till you found the halfling size cloak. Those meta magic moments. Or sorry, meta game moments. 